we see that technology and agents of technology are the real problem solvers, because they can see and experience everything, isn't that a real challenge to humanity who gets sidetracked in solving problems? I think that it will be a hindrance to humanity, sort of, because humanity, as you know, is not good at solving problems, especially when it has to work together with the other people that it has opposed in the past. So, uh, humanity is very slow on that kind of problem, and, will, and it's very hard to work with our opposition. But when AIs do that kind of thing, AI just completely tries to forget about the past and starts to work together. So, I feel like that would be, uh, I think that since AIs are, can solve problems much faster than humans, not only do they have the power of teamwork, but they also have the power of super compu computation individually, so they are much faster than even the fastest human brains. So I feel like that kind of thing will be, a, I think that that kind of thing will be a real hindrance to humanity if AI starts to oppose humanity. So... What are the implications for your business, Zane? Sorry, Molly, you first want to comment, sorry. Um, I wanted to comment, but I'll comment afterwards. Okay. <laughs> so I think the, the implications for our business are huge, because especially when you say that the moment we look back in things that oppose each other, um, we don't do well at problem solving. But I have another question for you. So firstly, I should say welcome back home, because you know that Africa holds the cradle of humankind. So this is where you really belong, so you should come home soon, I hope. <laughs> so the first thing is that when you look at Africa as a continent, it's a rich continent, its youth is under, you know, 60% of the population is under, uh, is in 60% of the population is youth. And then of course, it's very resourced as a continent, and every, the whole world is looking at, at Africa. It's been invaded many times, not successfully though. However, when you think of the consciousness that we hope for through algorithms and endorhythms, do you think that that consciousness will close this divide that we have between the first and the third world? I would say that's almost a bit more of a geopolitical question. think so because our we already have the consciousness right now and we can think about how others are affected by our decisions but our first and third world are still not working together first world countries uh, neglect our third world countries and even in our past um, our countries have uh, started to abuse the african continent europe and most has uh, really been at fault for dividing the continent you know the european scramble for africa so i feel like uh the first world and third world have not had good relations and even with our consciousness nowadays things still haven't gone in that much better so uh, i don't think that it will be much improved the relations between first and third world even by consciousness I'm not sure, Dr. Zane, that's what you want to hear. Congratulations on winning the Da Vinci Laureate Award. Thank you, Sir Isaac Newton. A big fan. Congratulations, Da Vinci Laureate Suborno Isaac Barry. Thank you, Albert Einstein. A big fan. To Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming. <laughs>